Hey, it's Dustin Wiggins with Appalachian Hybrid. I just wanted to go over a little bit and tell you what you can expect when you're getting an Appalachian Hybrid wax dipped box. Let's turn this camera around. Okay, so we're looking at one of our boxes here. And one thing you'll notice is this is a commercial grade box. We're going to have some knot holes. Well, let me should back up. We're not going to have n we're not going to have knot holes. You will have some knots. If there's any holes, I do intend on keeping those back. If we do not utilize those for ourselves in our own ap apiary, then I will be selling those as number twos. Things that might have splits or things that would I would not consider a commercial grade box. So you're going to look at this box. You're going to see there are some knots. But they're solid knots. Now, this is the box that I'm just about to put in a wax dipper. This is a box that just came out of the wax dipper. You can see the difference in coloration. Also, you can see um, from wax dipping, I have a couple things that happen. Um, for one, you'll see those black specks of carbon. Those are going to be little tiny pieces of sawdust or things like that that happen to get into the wax. Also, if you notice these little spots, I'll show you where those come from. Right over here. So wax dipping is, we wax dip over 220 degrees and it will actually cook the sap out of the wood. Not only does it force the moisture, the water out of the wood, but it also can cook the sap out of the wood. And as that's floating around in the wax, it can land on a box and cause all these little spots. Um, you're just getting a little bit more pine tar, um, a little bit more, I guess that one spot might last an extra hundred years. Um, but so you're going to see some little things like this. It's nothing to worry about. Um, it's just a natural part of the wax dipping process. And uh, we do have two different styles of boxes that we make. I don't have a video of that. I'll probably or have one near me. I will probably uh, do another video on that. Um, all of our boxes come with a warranty. Uh, I feel like that anytime, whether you buy a car, you buy a weed eater, you expect that thing to last you a certain period of time. Uh, a reasonable period of time. So we put a warranty on all of our boxes and guarantee them. If you have any issues with rotting or if the boxes start coming apart, um, all you have to do is get the boxes back to me. Um, you can bring them here to our place, uh, go to one of our dealerships, they'll swap them out for you. And the box has to be functionally not working um, or just have such a major issue like the glue's not holding or something like that. And they will warranty that out and it will be taken care of. I really appreciate you watching the video. Now get out there, do some beekeeping, and make some honey. Bye-bye.